Uh, hey folks, this is Ben Gessel. How's it going? I did mention I was going to do a grocery shopping video today, possibly, and this is the one. But, um, might be a little lengthier than some other ones. We'll see. Um, let me just show you what I got. We'll get into all the nitty gritty here in just a bit. Start with the nuts here. So you got, this is, by the way, Whole Foods. I was going to go to Sprouts, but I changed my mind and went to Whole Foods. 365 have some pieces of walnuts, no salt added. I couldn't find anything with salt, but I don't know. I like my nuts salted. Okay. Uh, roasted and salted almonds made with sea salt, 365. Two bags of the roasted and salted cashew, 365. The 365 brand at Whole Foods is the most economical type, in my opinion. You got three different beef broths, 365 organic beef broth. Gonna make some stew this month. And then two organic chicken broths. Yeah. And then, um, okay, let's go to the meat. So we got two of these party wing dealies, Northwest Farms organic, locally grown, air chilled, fresh chicken. This is dark meat, drumsticks or whatever, or wings. Uh, it's actually, this, this, first, this top one's wings. Uh, I think they're wings. They're both wings. Anyway, so pretty cheap stuff. Fairly cheap. A little bit spendier pork. Really high quality pork. Du Breton. Organic bone-in pork loin chops. Two of them. So, I'm trying to get some pork in it. Now I went kind of splurged on bacon. But this is the good stuff. This is maple bourbon. Wilshire maple bourbon. Um, All-natural dry rub uncured bacon. Uh... Just high quality pork stuff. Two of those plus another Wilshire thick sliced dry rubbed all natural uncured bacon. So two bone in turkey thigh packages. Yeah, still pretty reasonably priced. There's two of them per two turkey thighs per bag. So the four turkey thighs. Turkey drumsticks, one of them, the cheap. Air chilled, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. There's a, about a pound of each, and there's two of them. Yeah. yeah. Again, the, the chicken and turkey really are nice and more economical. And we get some pasteurized beef chuck stew meat. Two packages of those, that's going to go with my, my stew. And some mild Italian pork sausages. This is all pretty more, this is a little bit more economical type stuff. So a lot of the meat I got was, it helped price wise. So the spendier stuff, meat-wise, was my previously frozen St. Louis pork-style pork ribs. Big, huge, but this is big. Big pork rib. High-quality pork. And some, of course, pasture-raised beef, bone and beef short ribs. I have two packages of those, so that was a good chunk of my grocery budget right there. Probably about mm, a little less than a tenth of my whole Grocery product is this, but yeah, so the beef, beef's always a bit. The uh, pasteurized beef tri-tip roast is one of my, along with the pork ribs, is one of my, my big boys. It's my beef roast. That's my meat. That's all my meat and poultry. I didn't get any fish this time. I had some leftover fish from last month. And, of course, pasteurized eggs. Uh, the uh, Vital Farms pasteurized eggs. So, um, getting to all the plant foods now. Tandere spice, some 365 organic garlic granules, some firefly kimchi, and um, a little spendier on the kimchi. Sauerkraut's a little cheaper, 365 sauerkraut, I mean, comparatively. The kimchi was a little bit higher priced. Okay, and we'll get to the vegetables here. Um, and fruits and vegetables. So I got some, I got four organic, big organic carrots, I think a celery, organic celery, rainbow chard, organic, and uh, this is organic green lettuce, and organic cilantro, and organic green onions, these are all organic. Uh, and some two, or so organic uh, baby bok choys, and I got a thing of 
got a leak here. You can see a organic leak for the stew and some organic green cabbage and one purple topped turnip for the stew and some two things of premium roasted seaweed. Uh, this is up to down, I know. French style green beans, one bag. Uh, three bags, three about three of them. Three bags of organic cauliflower florets. Two bags of organic broccoli florets. This is all, this is all organic. And another two bags of cut green beans. And then uh, peas and carrots. Um, one bag. Organic Chinese style stir fry blend, one bag. Anything I missed? Oh, yeah, I'm getting some fruit here. We had two boxes of Driscoll's organic blueberries, one bag of holiday grapes. I'm not sure if that's organic or not. Anyway, and then the Driscoll's raspberries, one fresh box. And then, of course, we have some two pomegranates. They're a little bit spendier than organic. And then four or so, I think five Honeycrisp apples. Organic wild lingonberry bag. It's hard to find that stuff. So I was like, yay! Berry medley. So this stuff has boysenberries in it. So it's got blueberries, boysenberries, and raspberries. And Marion berries. Marion blackberries. Or one big bag of those. Of course, this is the right side up frozen veggies I showed you guys before. Okay, that I think about does it for what I got. I think I'll put this all away here soon. But I wanted to go show you the receipt. You should do that in a separate a separate video. You can kind of see uh, the soap. I got some soap and shampoo too, but uh, yeah. That actually should be a uh, shampoo. Oh, well. Anyway, so the berries are a little bit expensive. Oh yeah, cashews, because there's two bags of them. And the St. Louis pork rib, and the beef short ribs a little bit, yep. The um, tri-tip roast is up there a little bit, and the, uh, what is it, that beef short ribs. Pork loin was not too bad, so um, and then, the, of course, there's two, two of the maple bacon uh, guys. So they're a little all together there, a little bit much. But yeah, honey crisp apples always a little bit. Whole Foods kind of charges you more for apples. <laughs> Blueberries weren't too bad. Anyway, let's see, it came to a little bit. All right, but that's going to be for basically the whole month, for the most part. Yeah, basically the whole month. Um, so I wanted to also, before I sign off here, mention a few things about what I'm going to try to do this month. I'm going to try to get to my greens. I didn't get too many solid greens, because again, they always go bad within a week or two, you know. So I'm going to try to get to those, and not ignore them. Um, I got a fair amount of frozen veggies. I got a fair amount of meat, of course. This is my meat for the month, for the whole month. I definitely emphasize sauerkraut and kimchi. I'm trying to get some probiotics in my system. And, um... Uh, I don't know if I mentioned the onions. I got onions as well. But um, yeah, I think I covered the bases pretty well, nutrition-wise. You guys tell me what you think, if I missed anything. If there's anything I could benefit from. Still just drinking water for the most part. Um, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Take care.